Hello, so today we'll be solving this problem called creating strings. So we will be given a string and our task is to generate all different strings that can be creating that can be created using its characters. So our only input will be the aforementioned string of length n. Each character is between a and z. And for the output, we have to print the number of strings we found and then list them in lexicographical order. Here we can see that uh, if we bring this a before the b, we'll have the lexicographically minimal string, which is this a a b c a a a b c, and then the lexicographically largest string would be c b a a a. So this is that, and if we notice, here the length of the string will be at most 8. And in general, uh, if the characters of the string are distinct, we will be able to generate n factorial strings, because uh, that would represent all the permutations that we can create and each permutation would be unique. So the total number of strings we would create is n factorial. So if we extend on this idea of going through all the possible permutations, we, we start to see how we could solve this problem. So to start with, we have to say a word or two uh, about generating permutations uh, in C++. So this can be done through a function called uh, next permutation. And uh, this function takes on two iterators Usually, if you want to apply the next permutation on the whole array, usually this is something like vector.begin or container.begin and container.end. And this function returns a boolean, which is zero, if that's the lexicographically largest permutation, and one otherwise, zero in case of lexicographically largest permutation. So that is to say, if we give uh, this to our next permutation, if we give it 3 to 1, it would just return and want to do anything uh, to our array. It would actually sort it in, in this order, like it would sort it in increasing order, mm, and it would return 0, because it got to the largest uh, position it cannot generate any array next to it so this is pretty much how this function works so if we start with one two three and apply next permutation it will try to find the next permutation in lexicographical order so that would be one three two then the next one would be two one three then two three one then 3, 1, 2, and finally <coughs> 3, 2, 1. And that way it would list all the three factorial permutations that exist. So if we start from any point here, like if we apply next permutation to this array, it would only list five permutations. It won't go through all of them. So in, in order to exhaust all the permutation, of some array, it has to be sorted. We have to start with the sorted array. That's why this has to be the first thing we do. So first thing we have to do is sort our string. And then after sorting it, this function will keep uh, shuffling the elements of our string so that they are uh, so that they represent the next permutation and that next permutation would be unique. So this function will be, will do all the heavy work for us. 
and I invite, I invite you to look further into the inner workings of this function in order not to make any wrong assumptions about it and use it in an erroneous way but for our problem this should be enough so we just take our string we sort it and then apply next permutation to it and each time we obtain a next permutation we just insert it into our answer which would be a vector of strings and at the end we just print answer so let's go ahead and look at the code so the code would look something like this so we we'll start by reading our string so we call it str then uh, we'll declare our vector of strings that will hold all our permutations and then as we said we have to sort our string so that we do not miss any permutation so we sort it and then this is our loop that will go through all the permutations and here we have to use this unusual do while because uh, we have to start with the actual string that we got and insert it into our vector then go to the next one so this is used when uh, uh, the step of moving to the next uh, possibility has to be uh, has to be done after some processing and the processing in this case is to push back our permutation into the vector of all permutations and as we said when we exhaust all the permutations this next permutation will return false and at the end we'll just print the number of permutations we got and we'll print each permutation in a new line and this is pretty much it let's try to compile it and let's submit So it worked. And just to uh, hammer that point in, here if we print our string after we are done with all uh, with next permutation, we will find that it is sorted. I mean, so we'll take the string that they give us and if we print it, it's gonna be sorted so as you see here the string is sorted so this is another way, a very tedious way of sorting a string or of sorting an array just to put it in this loop and sorting it in n factorial steps that's not bad Okay, so thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you.